Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again. We are going to be stepping into our master closet and decluttering. I like to do this about once or twice a year, just depending how often I can get around to it. This time it's actually not as terrible as it has been in the past. Like there have been times where we can't even walk on the floor, but it is feeling very full and very, you know, bulging a little bit. And so I want to go through and just clear things out. I've actually been slowly starting to purchase some new clothes. Some of my old clothes are not fitting anymore in a good way. I've lost about 25 pounds at this point ever since having Hashimoto's it's been a struggle and so I finally kind of found what's been working for me and so this one is pretty exciting to me because I'm actually going to be clearing out some of the clothes that I had purchased during the time when I just wasn't able to make anything work so let's go ahead and jump into it I'm going to show you a sneak peek of kind of what we're starting with so that we have a good starting point and then we'll start pulling clothes out and just going through them together I want to hear you say yeah. actually did the same thing in our kitchen a couple weeks ago now and I got rid of so many things. This year I really feel like things are going to be changing because I've really been working on like kind of changing my shopping habits and just create like a more peaceful life if that kind of makes sense. That's just kind of like my overall goal for this year. So I'm really excited to kind of get everything how I want it and then just maintain it from here on out. We have three different laundry baskets. One is for whites, one is for colors that get dried and then one is for colors that get hung up. We wash them and then we hang them up on this side. So we usually don't have clothes hanging here all the time, but we did just do a load. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring these over just so I can really see like exactly how many things we have over there, which is a ridiculous amount, but soon we won't. I already have my bed cleared off. So the way that I like to do this and tackle the whole closet is actually by taking all of the clothes out of the closet. I don't do this all at once, but I do like segments. So I will take all of my shirts out, for example, go on my bed and then see what fits, see what doesn't, see what ones I'm just never going for, what ones are my favorite, things like that. And then I'll sort them accordingly and then I'll bring back whatever I'm keeping and then we'll move on to the next section. Since this time I have changed up sizing a little bit, this is going to be my keep pile. Like for sure I know these fit or they fit well enough. This is going to be a pile where I need to like retry on things to see if they fit still, things like that. And then obviously I have my baskets for anything that I'm going to be donating. And then I do still have several of like my Christmas items still kind of hanging up in the closet. So I am going to be taking those off the hangers and then just putting those up in my closet because I don't need to be having them for like, you know, 11 or 10 months of as a year. I'm like a little bit bummed on some of these because usually it's just like, oh, I don't like this shirt anymore, so it's not hard to give it up. But some of these, like, I love this shirt. I tried it on, I don't know, like a week ago, and it was just like really, really baggy, which is a good thing, but it's a little bit bummer, like a bummer to get rid of things that like you're enjoying, but it's okay. You think you know me? Say I'm as cold hearted as they come. Slowly. Cutting my ties with you that I'm done. All right, 
this is what we have so far. So obviously get rid of these ones I need to try on. These ones I know fit. And then these are just like Christmas ones that I'm gonna keep, but I'm gonna pack up in the closet until next Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these tops on and kind of see where we're at with those. Some of these tops I actually have kept because I liked them and hoped I'd be able to figure out my Hashimoto stuff a little bit better. And so I haven't worn them in a long time because they didn't fit, but like this one fits a lot nicer now. And so I'm actually able to keep it and just start wearing it again. All right, this is kind of where we're landing. So this entire basket is filled, overflowing with clothes that I'm donating. These are all the hangers from all the clothes that we are getting rid of. And then these are the ones that I'm keeping. So there is still like quite a lot in there. I like to declutter them on the bed. And then when I put them back into the closet, it's like I kind of get to go through them really quickly a second time and just make sure that I'm making the choice that like, yeah, I really do want to keep this. So we have these ones to keep and then these ones to put up in our closet. So before we put everything back into the closet, I do want to clear this space off and definitely wipe everything down. And then I can go ahead and put all the clothes there. However, it is like 11.30 and I'm starting to get hungry. So I'm gonna go grab some lunch real quick and then we'll come back and tackle all of the rest of this. For lunch today, I am going to be having some of our daily harvest. We first started having daily harvest back when we lived in Utah, so it's been several years now. And I'm so excited to be teaming up with daily harvest in today's video. And if you're unfamiliar with them, they are a plant-based food company that delivers prepared frozen food right to your door, which I love that it's frozen because then if we're having a busy week, I don't have to like pre-plan for that. It's just anytime you have unexpected busy days, you can just grab it right out of your freezer and it's ready to eat in minutes. So today I think I'm gonna have the harvest bowl. This one is sweet potato and wild rice hash. I've had this one before and it's one of my favorites. I also love the broccoli and cheese one. That's another favorite of ours. And then I'm also going to have my favorite smoothie from them, which is the mint and cacao one. It tastes like mint chocolate chip and it's so delicious. And like I said, they make them so simple and easy to make. So I'm just gonna grab a pot. You can also heat this up in the microwave, but since I'm home, I'm just gonna heat it up on the stove. All you have to do to heat these up is just pour it into a pan and then add a couple tablespoons of water and then just stir it and in a few minutes, it'll be ready to eat. I also love that they're very transparent about what they're putting into their food. On the side of each of the food packages, you can see a list of all the main ingredients. So to go along with that harvest bowl, I am going to make my smoothie. All you do is just take the top off, and then you can add in whatever kind of milk you want, and you pour it right into the smoothie cup and this is like your little measurement tool and then you just pour it right into your blender and blend it all up pour it directly back into your original smoothie cup and put the lid on you're good to go daily harvest also has a ton of other items they have forager bowls they also have harvest bakes flatbreads they just have so many different items they're always adding more onto their website so that you can just keep things fresh and not get tired of anything their flavors are always incredible if you want to order some daily harvest for your Yourself. I'm gonna have a link and a coupon code down below so you can go ahead and check that out and save some money. Lunch is checked off the list. I do still have a little bit more of my smoothie, so I'm just gonna be sipping on that while I'm working in the closet. I'm gonna go ahead and start clearing this out, wiping everything down. Whenever I do a declutter, I always like to kind of semi-deep clean the space to kind of check that off my list as well. This pillow I got, it was on sale a long time ago, but it doesn't match the pillows that I have in my bed, so I need to get different covers for my pillows, and then I can finally bring this down, but how cute is this? For now, it'll stay up here. This is just a pack and play that we have when my sisters come to visit with their little kids. Some extra shoes up here for the boys. I don't know why we have this, we already have one.
Okay, so what I've done is actually hung the clothes, like hung the hangers backwards. Normally you hang them like this. And I do this every time I declutter clothes. That way, whenever I put, I like wash them or wear them, you know, I hang them back up. The ones that I'm using and wearing will be hung up the right way. And in like six months, all these clothes at that point are hung the right way and these ones are still hung backwards that just shows me like I haven't worn these in so many months and it's time to kind of reevaluate those and most likely declutter them and get rid of them and then this is the other thing that I was talking about so now I'm going to order them and organize them in here and as I'm doing that I'm going to actually re-go through them a quick second time and just make sure that I'm really intentional about what I'm keeping <laughs> So I honestly still feel like I have too many for sure, like a lot too many. These are like three quarter length sleeves. And then I have like some nicer clothes, more casual. And then these are actually all t-shirts. I don't wear t-shirts too often. So I'm probably going to go through these and maybe get rid of some that I just like never go for. But I don't know. I've still cut my clothes at least by half. Okay, I found like four t-shirts that I'm going to purge. <laughs> Next, we're going to go through my pants. I do have some jeans in my drawers, so actually I think a lot of these don't really fit anymore. You guys will have to let me know how do you store your pants. I kind of hate hanging them up. <laughs> I don't know why, but I also feel like it's nice because then you can see exactly what you have and you don't have to dig through your drawers. But if you guys have like a great way to store all of your pants, let me know. The next area of clothes I'm going to go through are Kyle's clothes. Now don't worry, I'm not going to be actually getting rid of his clothes, but what I love to do is go through them. I can see which ones are really worn. I also know the clothes that he wears and grabs for all the time. And so I kind of like pre-sort through things for him and then it's more attainable for him to just to go through it because he's not motivated as much as I am like to just go through these things. It's just not his thing so much. So I'm gonna do that for him and then later on he will go through those things. It just seems to make the process a little bit easier. I totally have to laugh because Kyle is definitely the one between the two of us who has a harder time decluttering. I feel like I'm pretty good at being able to let go of things and he definitely holds on a little bit more, but he did decide to get rid of a few of his clothes. But let me know in the comments who in your home struggles with decluttering most. I definitely find it's hard to declutter things that are in great shape. So for example, I was decluttering some of Kyle's church clothes and a lot of these are in great shape, but he typically just wears one set of items. And so I just have to keep in mind if they're not being used, they are no longer useful to us, so it's time to get them out of the house. Plus, then it opens up that item to be used by someone else, which is awesome. I need to clear this area down here. We just have random bits everywhere. We have Christmas box things and wrapping paper. This is like an old workout thing that when we were gonna do the gym upstairs and you know how that went and then like Kyle's weights things like that so all this stuff needs to get cleared out and just put somewhere
we're going to tackle like our towels so the pool towels and then also i just have some extra blankets like throw blankets and pillows in here ones that i really like but that i'm kind of like sorting through but i haven't even accessed them in a while so i'm just gonna see what i can get rid of from here The next thing that I want to do is actually use some of these bins. I've organized with these bins from Target so many times like in our Utah house and our pantry and this house and my sister's homes like just all over the place so anytime we reorganize a space and I don't use them in that space anymore I still hold on to them because I'm like I will use them again I just don't know when yet and today is one of those days so we have three boys they're always bringing home things from school we don't want to keep everything but we do like to keep certain things a lot of times it's like their artwork or different things just kind of get thrown about the house and so I need just like a quick easy place to just stick their artwork into so these are going to be perfect it's not like a permanent solution for them but it's like a great place to just throw them in there when they're something special and then I can like actually reorganize them in a nicer way a little bit later we are making some serious progress in here. We have my whole side pretty much done. We have Kyle's side finished. We just kind of have this random side. This is Kyle's dresser in here. I have my dresses and then we actually do store some random Christmas items that I just don't want to get broken. And so I really don't want to put them in bins. So we just kind of store them in here, but they shouldn't be down here taking like some prime <laughs> real estate. So I am going to move those to up on the very top, top shelf since we don't need to access those and just kind of organize in here a little bit, declutter some. And then a lot of times I don't touch these because a lot of times they're just like keepsake items, things like that but I do just want to open up each bin and just make sure that they are something that we really do want to keep. Does anyone else like lose motivation when you're like three quarters of the way done? I feel like I do that all the time. It's like I'm usually okay in the beginning and then it's like oh, okay like I'm good I'm okay I don't want to finish it but that's the most rewarding part so we're gonna keep going with this. Here I'm just going through a bunch of self-care items that I've actually gotten from FabFitFun in the past and I am terrible at self-care so I'm just deciding like which ones I'm going to keep and try to use and which ones I'm going to donate but let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions on ways that I can get better at self-care. This thin is like my all-time best keepsake. So this was <laughs> my big Christmas present when I was like, I think two years old or something. 
I think my mom said she got it like from the dollar store or something but I just loved it so much and so I still have it so that I would just carry it around everywhere this is my little like wedding bag I guess like purse this is a container of all of the letters that I wrote to Kyle and maybe the ones that he wrote to me but I wrote him every single day sometimes twice a day when he was in basic training for the Air Force so he got this little container and he just has like all these letters and letters and letters that I wrote to him so I don't even know if we've ever gone back and read those but it would be really fun and we're definitely gonna keep them just so neat from forever ago Yes, I heard it all, all the same But go ahead and use me I need it now I need it now Conveniently, I happened upon these old chalkboard labels Whenever I need to access anything up here I have to go through every single bin Because I just haven't gotten around to labeling them So I'm going to label them really quick And then if I have enough, I'll also do the ones down here for the boys Ooh, Trying to make a case I love when you declutter and immediately find something that you forgot you had, but otherwise would have just went out and bought it anyways. So this is just a great example of how decluttering can seriously save you money. Got too much love for me. Got too much love. thing to do is to vacuum in here this room does not get vacuumed like very often at all just being very transparent but this room yeah it gets neglected for sure so we do have the rug in here I actually maybe that'll be one of my goals is to find a different rug in here this is just the rug that we had and it doesn't really fit any other way than to do it like this so we kind of liked it but it's kind of different but I do want to really vacuum this and like slow vacuum so I'm gonna grab the vacuum and get this nice and clean and then I'll show you where we landed and what we decluttered I won't make it easy for you now it is crazy how much this picked up just with like a really quick vacuum so i'm gonna go ahead and empty out this canister and then we're gonna go over it slowly in different directions and really let the vacuum work and just suck up as much as much of that dust and dirt as we can all right we have an empty canister now we'll put it to work. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear. You would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Oh, baby, we're free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. I've talked about slow vacuuming so many times with you guys on my channel in hopes that if you are not already doing this, you go ahead and take the opportunity to do it because it really will make such a huge difference. But something I don't always mention is when you're slow vacuuming, it actually helps if you not only slow vacuum in one direction, but you also slow vacuum in the other direction. And that will also work to pull even more dirt and debris out of your carpets. Just watch me break in. I love a good before and after so let's rewind and check out that before again as you can see it is so full and packed full of clothes that either didn't fit or were never getting worn and now we actually have clear shelves open spaces and our closet is only filled with clothes that fit and get worn often 
items that we use all the time or genuinely want to keep as keepsake items. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you how much we decluttered, but I even took this opportunity to reorganize each space and deep cleaned as I went. In this past week, ever since doing this, we have really enjoyed and actually maintained our clean and decluttered closet. And as promised, this, my friends, is all the stuff that we pulled out and that we will be donating. This whole process actually made me really want to give our closet a makeover with paint and built-ins and all that stuff. But that does remind me that next week we are tackling some house projects. I always love seeing the changes that people make around their house, especially when they're doing it all themselves. So next week's house project video is going to include our DIY desk upstairs and I cannot wait to share how it all turns out. And if you missed my kitchen declutter video that I talked about before, I'm going to be linking it on the right side of the screen. Definitely check it out. It was super motivating. So many of you guys who watched it absolutely loved it and got so much motivation. I hope you enjoyed getting some motivation today and hanging out with a friend and I cannot wait to see you next week in that house projects video. Bye guys.